Hello, welcome back to the Black Queen Prophet Test channel where I practice cardamancy and tarot reading. Today I'll be doing the reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you so much for your read. You were one of the top viewed readings from last week and I appreciate all that you're doing. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And I hope that the reading really resonated with you. Okay, um, funny enough. Normally I do a nine card playing card cardamancy read, but just now the Holy Spirit said do a uh, Rider Waite, well no, correction, Pamela Coleman Smith deck nine card read. Um, I've done personal ones for myself, but I haven't done it with the Pamela Coleman Smith, like nine for anyone <laughs> to be honest with you on this channel, but the Holy Spirit said give them a nine card tarot reading through with using the Pamela Coleman Smith. Okay. I hope I'm able to get all the cards on camera. But as I as the cards come out, I'll let you know. So before I get into the prayer, I want to let you know that um, to be a part of the top five, you it, you would have to be the top viewed video of the previous week. One, two, it should it have to be your season. And new policy alert, if I get zero readings for a month on a specific Zodiac sign video, I would discontinue doing the reading for the Zodiac sign until it is their season. Example, if Cancer doesn't view any reads during the month of June, I will discontinue doing Cancer's reading until it is their season. Now, beneficially, <laughs> their season is next. So they will go first regardless if they have reading, if they're viewing or not. Okay? So let's get into your reading. We're starting it off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this place. I yield myself to you to receive and to convey the message you have for Sagittarius. I pray, Father, that this message is... I pray that this message... It's home for those that need to hear this message. I pray that whoever was supposed to hear this message will chime into this video. I pray that this message is helpful. It blesses the hearer of this message. That it blesses the hearer of this message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, um, Sagittarius. Now, I want to say that my messages are timeless. So, if you're not in the, this current week, you don't hear this, but two weeks later or three weeks later, it was meant for you to hear it when you heard it. Okay? It was meant to hear it, for you to hear it when you heard it. Okay? If it resonates with you, awesome then it was meant for you. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it resonate. Okay, don't overthink it. Either it does or it doesn't. Okay? Either it does or it doesn't. Okay? And lastly, don't worry about these cards. This message is coming straight from the Holy One. Okay? God. The Holy Spirit, okay? This is coming straight from him. The cards are just something to look at. It's just the guide of what he wants you to say. And um, regardless of what the card means in tarot, if the Holy Spirit tells me that this card means that, then that's what it means, okay? All right, period. That's what the Holy Spirit wants you to say. I go by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, not just what these cards and what they mean, okay? So basically, you're really just getting a pure message from the Holy Spirit. And whoever is supposed to touch is going to touch it, you know? All right, you know, when you go to church, the message isn't always for you. 
at the time that you hear it. It may be something that you can just hold on to and remember, and the Holy Spirit will bring it back to your remembrance and encourage you in the spirit. Remember back when you was on the Black Prophetess channel and she said this, that, and the third? And that happens to me all the time. I I do listen to some other um, tarot card readers on YouTube myself. Um, it's actually been my influence on even doing videos for you know to do these videos. But um, um, sometimes it doesn't resonate right when I hear it. And then as I'm going about my day, because I didn't take, you know, I ain't tripping about everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I just kind of like, okay, I took that as a grain of salt for whatever it was. You know, I took it for a grain of, I took it as a grain of salt because I, it just didn't resonate. And then as I go about my day, the Holy Spirit would tap me on the shoulder. Remember when you heard that? There it is, you know? Okay. All right, so, um, this King of Swords is the center card would be the topic or the significator. And here we have the King of Swords. It's, um, it is ruled, the, the source is ruled by air sign that be Gemini, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So you got this, uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, uh, <laughs> they're the Lord of the Rings, but maybe that is actually that, or Game of Thrones, he's sitting on his, on his throne with the clouds in the background, very airy. It just, this whole thing is very airy, very, very airy. Okay. He's sitting on his throne with his sword drawn, holding his sword. Okay. Ready to cut it off. That's what I hear. Ready to cut it off. Now, more specifically, the king of swords um, economy that would be the king of spades, which is represented by an Aquarius here. So maybe there may, the Holy Spirit want to talk to you about someone that's ruling over you, Sagittarius. He wants to talk to you about a manager. What I heard is you might be uh, coming to an end of something here, um, Sagittarius. You may be coming to an end of something. Uh, you may have to cut off someone or someone is about to cut you off. Okay. Now we have next to this king of swords is the three of swords. Uh, swords, again, someone, mm, either you have broken somebody else's heart, Sagittarius, or someone has broke your heart. They have, they, they, it, it's heart wrenching. Whatever they did, it is heart wrenching. Okay. But then you have this king of wands here with his staff in hand. Not a sword, but a staff. And it brings to remembrance the staff of oh Moses and uh, what was his brother's name? Aaron. And remember the staff had grown 
a, a flower, a blossom. And as you can see on the staff, it's blossom without it being planted in the ground. These aren't blossoms that was left there. This is blossoms that bloomed on the staff after it had been, you know what I'm saying? It just blossomed without being a part of it. It's because of the anointing on Aaron and Moses' life. And I can't remember if it was Aaron's staff that did it or Moses. If you know Sagittarius, and I know you know, let me know. Put it in the comments. Um, but whichever, biblically, it was the anointing on their lives of them holding the staff. And I hear like someone hurt you deep or you hurt someone deep. But Leo, uh, this king of wands is here to heal. Okay. This king of wands is here to heal you. Okay. Now you have an ace of wands here. So that sounds like you... Ooh, once again, we got a blossoming staff here. Okay. You're going on a new spiritual journey. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever happened here has put you on a spiritual journey. Okay, and you have here the um, temperance card in reverse. Um, you know, all I can think of is you're you're not being patient with the process. You're starting. You you want to already hurry up and be healed. Okay. Um, again, I hope you can see all of these. These are bigger than the cardamancy, the the the, the playing cards. So down here you have an ace of wands. So I show you here. I was about to turn it upside down. Um, which is a beginning. One, a one or ace is one. So this is the beginning of a spiritual journey. Duh. I mean, I just there's no more to say. The Holy Spirit said, let you go. You said what you said. Okay. But you also have this temperance card in reverse here, which is a 14 card, which is five. Okay. And it is an angel pouring from one cup to another, patiently pouring what's everything going on here, which is telling me that you're not, you're not being patient. You're not uh, um, trusting the process. Okay, you're, you're not trusting the process. You want to hurry up and heal, and that's not the way it works. Okay, you also have an ace of cups in reverse. That means uh, uh, that is, again, spiritual here. You got the dove go, going down, kind of like the way when Jesus and the dove showed and said, this is my son, I'm well pleased, where you will... Hmm... Because you're not being, because you're not trusting the process, you know, you're just kind of making it. Oh, okay. A Holy Spirit just said that God is trying to offer you something here. It's trying to to offer and you're not accepting it. It's in reverse. Okay. The anointing is there, but you're not using it. He's offered you and he's given you what you need, but you're not tapping into it because you're not trusting the process. Okay. And then you have this, uh, What's this? The uh, nine of pentacles. You're losing money. In reverse. You know, all because you just won't trust the progress. I mean, the, the, the process, um, Sagittarius. Everything isn't going to happen right away. Okay? 
The Holy Spirit wants you to win. And the way you win is by trusting the process. Trusting that he got you. But because you're still hurt. And all the offerings that we have here. The healing that the Ace of Wands. I mean Wands here. Where he's offering you something. Again there's an offer but it's in reverse. It's, it's almost like you're rejecting it. Okay, you're rejecting it because you still hurt. Okay, or it's not happening fast enough for you. You know, you're still in your feelings. And then you have the lover's card here, which is a six. Which is, yeah, you're still in your feelings about this. Which is the, it's the lover's card, which is telling me that whoever hurt you was someone that was really close to you or maybe I feel like maybe they didn't hurt you but they told you the truth you know they, they told you the truth about the situation and you didn't like it. You simply didn't like it. You didn't like the fact it's like, no, no. Okay. You feel like you were stabbed in the back or stabbed in your heart here. You feel like this other person may have chosen someone else. <laughs> the Holy Spirit says maybe you wanted whatever it was with this person to be more than it was just because they're your soulmate or your twin flame does not mean that they are your husband and or wife Sagittarius okay uh, the Holy Spirit said some of you have found out that this person wasn't the person Okay, you thought they were the one and they weren't. They're not your twin twin. They're not your soulmate. They, oh, glory be to God, you need to be cut off because you were delusional. You really thought this person is supposed to be the person for you and it isn't. Okay? And the outcome card is the Hierophant, which is a five, which means that the outcome is going to be, it's going to be a change whether you accept it or not. How long you stay in this cycle because you have the lover's card in reverse, which is a, a major arcana. You have the temperance card in reverse, which is a major arcana. Okay. And the Hierophant, which is a major arcana. And all the major arcanas are in reverse. So that tells me that... Um, you're going to get change whether you accept it or not. And it's looked like you're not accepting that change. Okay. Which is going to keep you in this cycle. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, Holy Spirit. What is the final read? Okay. You getting two cardamancy reads and both of them are issues. Okay. Both of them are issues. Okay. You are still being, you're still stuck. You may, you're looking like you are a king on your throne. But you're going through you're going through right now. You are in the, your fear. You're in a, a, a thing. You're in stuck in fear and worry, Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> this ten of space is is you're crying. Your tears. There. You're you're crying. So it hurts. And I know it hurts, Sagittarius. You know, 
the Holy Spirit, for some of you, you're the one being hurt. For others of you, you are the one hurting someone. And just rather you're the one being hurt or you're the, the one who may be causing the hurt in the factor of knowing you need to cut this person off. It's it, it, both sides. Whether you are the one that's breaking up with someone or being broke up, I'm telling you it doesn't matter which side it is. It's hard on both sides. Okay? Because you don't want to hurt this person. You don't want to hurt this person. You don't. Okay? And you really feel bad. You might even have to, to drink. Or you might have to do something to give you, you might have to get some liquid courage to get you to detach from this person. And you may be still beating yourself up if you're the one that may be causing the hurt or feel like you're the one who caused the hurt of this person. Okay? And you're trying to make up by being extra this or being extra supportive and helping this person start something else, but that is not what God wants you to do. You have this problematic woman, this queen of, uh, of spades, that um, maybe it's the one that you need to cut off, the one that you thought was the one, is really the problematic, and you know she's problematic. You know this person is problematic. Be it a friend, be it a, uh, a girlfriend, be it a wife. It is not. I'm sorry. The queen of spades, Holy Spirit, no, the queen of spades is a single woman. Okay? This may be a problematic friend. This may be um, a problematic uh, lover. Whatever. No, the Holy Spirit just corrected me. It is a problematic lover. Okay? Now, for the men... Or how, if you uh, 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 resonate with, if you identify as a male energy, um, this may be, um, or oh, I mean, sorry, as a female energy, uh, you may, this may be a good friend that you always end up getting in trouble with because they always put you in trouble or <laughs> you're always getting them in trouble and they're cutting you off, okay? Because they're tired of always getting in trouble with you. I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. Okay, for the men that, or those who identify as a man, or a male energy, this is definitely a lover. Not a wife. But someone you're dating and you have to cut off. Um, for the those who identify as a woman, you're the woman that has to be cut off. Either way, you're a little bit delusional and you want it to be over or you want this person to forgive you already. Just go ahead and heal. Mm, let me tell you something. You can't tell people how quickly they are supposed to heal and forgive. Okay? You can't. So just trust the process, okay? It's going to take time for this person to forgive you and truth. Um, and if it, you're the one that's hurt, Sagittarius, it's going to take. Be patient with yourself. You're not going to forgive them just because you said, I forgive you, okay? It's going to take some time, okay? That's all I have for you. That's all I have for you. Trust the process. You all have a wonderful week, Sagittarius, and I hope to see you in the top five next week. Bye.